Hi Scorpio, this is going to be a general love reading for mid-May 2021 for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus signs, and it is general, so it cannot resonate for all of you. Um, but you can check out one of your other signs, or you can get a personal reading if you want, and do keep in mind that the rules can be reversed for general readings. Alright, so let's see what is going on with Scorpio. Second half of May, what are the overall energies of this? For Scorpio. Oh, okay, we have Observer and we have Pride and Ego. Okay, so it feels like somebody is observing the other person, maybe from a distance. And the reason is because they're letting their ego, their pride get in the way um, of possibly reaching out more or of opening up. So they're just mostly um, kind of just observing you rather than making a, a move. Or, of course, this could be you towards them. So let's, let's get into it. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for mid-May. Okay, so for your energy, we have the Fool, the Four of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles. Wow, so it feels like you're, I feel like you're feeling excited about taking a new path here, um, jumping into something, taking a risk maybe, just feeling like there's something new that is going on here, but I also feel like at the same time you might be holding back a little bit. Um, it's like there's this push and pull, like on the one hand you're, I feel like you're trying to be patient, you're trying to move cautiously. And then on the other hand, you're just feeling a lot of excitement, like you just really want to jump in. And I feel like ultimately for that reason, you're kind of holding back, trying to be very cautious, like almost like trying to pace yourself. Let's see, for them, we have the Two of Pentacles, Strength, and Judgment. Okay, so I do feel like it might be this ego, this pride and ego might be more on your person side. Of course, feel free to reverse the roles. Um, I do see them juggling a little bit here, trying to find some kind of balance, like how much can they, you know, um, give attention to you and how much should they, how much should they not possibly trying to balance something else in their lives as well. And I feel like, you know, again, it it does come across as them maybe um, being a little bit, having a little bit of their ego come into play here. All right, possibly also just really being very discerning, I want to say, but in the way where they might be a little bit critical of the of their own self or of the situation. And that's why I feel like, you know, if this is them, with that observer card, it's like just watching, just trying to figure something out. Let's see what's coming up, and we'll get more information when we clarify here. So, in the near future, we have the Six of Wands, <clears throat> the Ten of Wands, and the Three of Cups, and a message for you here is the Two of Swords. So, again, there's there's that ego showing up here a little bit, but at the same time, I do feel like this person wants success here. But this there's a burden here that needs to be released, and I do feel like it has to do with their ego. Um, and, you know, it might even be just, just something that they've been carrying from their past. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's related to you or because there was, you know, let's say an argument and that they don't agree with you and so there's ego and, you know, their ego's getting wounded. It's not necessarily that, although of course it could be, <clears throat> but it could be stemming from something that is completely unrelated to you. It's like their own fear. <clears throat> Having the Three of Cups though, that's actually a very positive sign because if you are at a distance, I feel like there is some kind of a of a getting together here, of a coming back together. 
and feeling things lighter. But with the Two of Swords being the um, message here for you, it does also feel like there might still be little things that are being avoided or that are not being talked about or not feeling like there is a sense of agreement on all aspects and I feel like that would mostly be because somebody is not allowing themselves to really be honest and ego free which okay 100% ego free is like <laughs> nearly impossible but at least you know the goal would be for that ego to just kind of dissolve a little bit become weaker so let's clarify see the full for your energy. Uh, the lovers, justice, and the ace of wands. Wow. Okay, yeah, so the part of you that really wants to jump into this, it's because you really feel this connection. You feel so much love for this person. I, I would even say that you feel the same energy from them, <laughs> minus the ego part. Um, and I mean, I'm not trying to put it all on them. Of course, you can have some ego as well. We all do, right? Um, this is just the message that's coming through for now. And you just feel like it is the right thing. Like it just feels right being with this person. All right. Um, it's like there's just so much passion here. You, you feel like there's this potential for a new beginning with this person. It, it feels so good. It feels so right. That's the part of you that wants to jump in. Let me clarify the Knight of Pentacles and see the other side of this. Because you are also being very cautious at the same time, which could, could be a good thing. Oh, we have strength again. So some of you might even be dealing with a Leo. Um, the Ace of Swords and the Emperor. I actually feel like the reason why you might be moving consciously is because you are aware of this person not being like 100% and you are aware of this person still either trying to figure something out, this person is still trying to either maybe make a decision, um, still trying to build courage to overcome their, their pride and ego, their fears, whatever, or whatever else might be going on with them. Um, in order for there to be some kind of a rebirth here in this connection or for it to even just kind of get that jump start. Um, because of that, you're being cautious because you know they're still trying to figure it out. But I feel like for the most part, like deep down you, I feel like you do have hope. You do feel like this is, like this is your person and you do feel like, like this person will, um, will come around. You're just trying to tame yourself. From getting overly excited or I, even, you're, I feel like you're even holding back from um, taking certain actions. Kind of like letting them, letting them be in charge or them, um, like the ball is in their court kind of thing. And it's like you're allowing the ball to be in their court without you um, putting any pressure on them. All right, so let's see what is going on with them. Let's see this two of pentacles. All right, the four of pentacles and the ten of wands. Yeah, again, they're holding on to something that needs to be released. A part of this is also feeling similar to cancer. So maybe some of you are dealing with a cancer because it is reminding me of that, of their reading. Um, so yeah, they're holding on to something here, something that they've been carrying. It's a, it's a burden. And because of that, they're trying to really find a way to, I, I almost feel like they're trying to hold on to something either from their past or they're trying to hold on to an aspect of their own self and still make it work with you. But that's kind of like where the problem is because something that they're holding on to, and it could even be, you know, um, that they're holding on to a sense of, you know, I always want to be right. 
or it could be, and, and then if I'm with you, I'm not always right because you end up proving me wrong. Um, or you threaten my ego, you know? It could be something like that. It could even be um, wanting to hold on to their independence, feeling like they're going to lose independence if they move forward with this connection. It could be holding on to another relationship, um, which in that case, you know, that's... <laughs> If they don't want to release that and still want you, well, you know, you have to figure that out for yourself, you know, what you want to do. But um, they're holding on to something here. I feel like it's something from within that they are just not comfortable parting with or changing. But let's see. Let's clarify strength. The Ace of Pentacles and Death. Yeah, so this is all about a transformation. And, you know, they something needs to change here from within. Something that they're holding on to needs to come to an end in order for them to have this new, um, this new possibility with you, this new endeavor with you. And that's going to be something that does require some courage. Um, it, it feels kind of like, you know, in order to gain something, sometimes you have to lose something else. And so you have to weigh that out. And that's what I kind of feel like they're doing here with judgment, kind of like really trying to make that discernment, you know, because it's all about accepting the fact that you can't have everything, everything. You can't have your cake and eat it too. Like sometimes we need to make compromises and we need to, you know, release something in order to have something that is going to be more positive. And we, oftentimes, you know, that very thing that we release, it turns out to be, to have a very positive effect anyway. We just thought it was something that we needed when it's not, especially when it comes to ego. So I do feel like this person is slowly moving in that direction of figuring that out. Okay, with death being here, I see this as a, a transformation that is taking place and they are thinking about it here. So let's actually see judgment. Right, the six of pentacles the queen of the queen of pentacles and the seven of swords yeah so they're they're they are coming to this place of balance they are really trying to make that decision as to you know how much energy can i give to this that and the other realizing that they do not have enough you cannot give your full attention to like a hundred different things here right that two of pentacles trying to understand what is it that how much can I manage and how much can I not? Like what, is, you know, certain things are possible and certain things are just impossible. Like there's just not enough energy for us to focus on a hundred different things or even sometimes two different things, depending on what those things are. And I feel like that is what they are um, beginning to have a revelation about. Even if they, you know, it, it's, a, it's a process, it's a process because it's almost as if they, they still just don't want to accept that they have to lose something in order to gain something else. Um, I feel like they're still trying to find a way to just have it all. And while at the same time eventually moving towards understanding that that's not possible and so eventually having to um, release something. I do feel like they're moving in the right direction here. Um, especially with the Three of Cups being here because I do see some kind of, of getting together. And as, even with the Six of Wands and the Ten of Wands, it's like there's this success, this victory over releasing that Ten of Wands. So, which is that, <clears throat> that, that burden that they've been holding on to. So let's see, Six of Wands. All right, the Hanging Man. Yeah, so they're coming into this energy of really seeing things from a new perspective as to what it would mean to be successful. What does it mean to have victory? So I do, I do still get that they're kind of investigating, still kind of observing the situation. However, by doing that, it's having this effect on them of seeing things in a different way. Like, I don't need to have everything in order to be successful. Let's see the Ten of Wands. The Page of Wands. So yeah, I feel like, you know, this is a baby step, but it is a step 
um, towards releasing that, releasing that or, you know, compromising, as I said before, with something, you know, not holding on so tightly to something that doesn't really serve them to begin with, something that is weighing them down. Let's see the Three of Cups. The Knight of Wands and the Five of Pentacles. Yeah, this is definitely action. This is definitely action um, moving, I feel, towards a reconnection. But I feel like there's... Let me get one more. Because with that Five of Pentacles, I feel like you... Either you might not... You might be seeing things a little bit differently by then. Or someone here is not feeling very good, which is interesting because it's clarifying the Three of Cups, which is a very positive energy. All right, the Page of Swords, which is like that Observer card. It's like that in investigation. Um, yeah, it feels like there, like I said, um, with the Two of Swords as the message for you here. I feel like there's going to be a reconnection, you know, things are, you know, might feel somewhat okay, but I feel like somebody might still need to deal with a little bit of this um, feeling like they're at a loss for something or possibly even a fear of being abandoned. So this could be you, for example, where you might, you know, also be keeping a close eye on them because if this was a person who where it felt like, you know, they made it so difficult to come towards you. It's almost like you might not trust their intentions. You might feel like they're going to be in and out, like that they're just going to go back to trying to juggle multiple things where then you don't fit into their schedule anymore. Um, and, you know, I mean, I don't know. I don't know if this if this person will or will not. We're not being shown. What we are being shown, though, is that there is some kind of a coming together, and I feel like you are just going to have that that concern because of the past. All right, for for this time period, I'm actually going to clarify that two of swords. Let's see, because I'm also getting that there might be something you're not seeing here with that Two of Swords. So we have the Three of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Ten of Cups. Okay, so the message here is that, yeah, you know, there might be something you're not seeing. It feels like, you know, you, you might be in a little bit of denial. You don't, almost like you don't want to fully agree with this person on certain things. But there's this waiting for things to be perfect, maybe. And if you expect for things to be 100% perfect, then there might be some, some disappointment. Like I said, I feel like there might still be a couple of things to work through and just being honest about what it is that is concerning you so that so that things can just be really open and out on the table before, before you um, make any major decisions. And who knows, I mean, once you are open about your concerns, you know, then this person, that might give this person that opportunity to really explain their side as well. I do see that Ten of Cups being a potential here. I do see that Ten of Cups being a potential here. It might take just a little bit of, of time, but it's definitely a potential. And again, it's really, I feel it's, if this reading was resonating with you, I feel like it's really going to depend on how much you are able to discuss things openly So that you can understand where each other stands. So Scorpio. 
All right, and we have courage. You are safe, fear is an illusion, set strong boundaries. And yeah, and it's interesting that we also have the strength card twice and now we're closing out with courage. So yeah, I do feel like, you know, it does take some courage on both of your sides for different reasons. All right, but fear is an illusion. Always keep that in mind and you are safe. You know, stick to your boundaries. You know, make sure that you are not settling for anything less than you deserve. Okay, so be honest about how you feel. All right, Scorpio, those were your messages. Thank you so much for watching and much love.